Hey everyone, this is a problem um, about a kind of an interesting satellite called a geosynchronous satellite. That's a satellite that's placed in orbit above the equator so that it stays in one position above the Earth's surface, even though it's orbiting about the Earth's center of mass. So um, a diagram of the situation would be the satellite is out at some position away from the Earth's center. So we would have our universal force of gravity on it, which would be g, mass of the Earth, mass of the satellite, over the distance from the Earth's center. So that would be from the center of the Earth all the way out to the position of the satellite. That's the distance they're talking about, r. So that's the r that we're going to calculate um, in the problem, calculate the radius of such an orbit. OK, well, uh, in this case, what we know, if it's going to be synchronized with the Earth, the one thing we know about the Earth is that the period of the rotation of the Earth is 24 hours. So it's going to make sense to use the centripetal acceleration formula that involves the period of the orbit of the satellite. That way we can match these two together. So using F equals ma and setting the gravitational force between the Earth and the satellite equal to the mass of the satellite times its centripetal acceleration, we would come up with this expression. So from there, uh, rather than memorizing formulas for period and things like that, we should be able to derive using this formula, the equation that we would need. Notice that the mass of the satellite, which is the object being accelerated, drops out. And what we're left with to find our unknown r is simply a restatement from the algebra here of, this above, of the above equation. Uh, we're left with g, mass of the Earth, over the distance between them squared, equals 4 pi squared r over, over t squared. All right, now we've got algebra to do, and I will save you the steps of the algebra. You should be able to hopefully uh, follow through and do those. And if you just multiply both sides by t squared, multiply both sides by r squared, and then divide by 4 pi squared, that should get you to this expression right here. All right, um, we're almost there. The one thing you have to do, though, is raise r to the 1 third power, or raise both sides of the equation to the 1 third power, if you're going to solve for r. So on your calculator, you'll have to raise to the raise to the one third when you're going to work with that. All right, so now we'd be ready to start putting the numbers in. Okay, once we've gotten to this, once we've gotten to this point. So let's come down here and take a look. Um, we'd have to convert the period 24 hours into seconds. That works out from this expression to 86,400 seconds. And then you want to practice using this on your calculator because there's a lot of powers squaring and a lot of places to go wrong. And somewhere, I just lost the mass of the Earth in my equation. I'm going to move that. Whoa. Don't know what happened there. I'm going to move that right back up here <laughs> and get everything back together. So here's our expression. Here's our g, our mass of the Earth, the square of the period, and 4 times pi squared, all raised to the 1 third power. If you get the right answer, you try that on your calculator, what you should come up with is the distance between the center of the Earth and the satellite to be 4.22 times 10 to the seventh meters. Now, a lot of the times, the problem might ask for the altitude above the Earth's surface. So if you think this through, that whole distance from the center of the Earth to the altitude, h, above the Earth's surface uh, can be expressed in terms of, of that distance that you just calculated. That distance is the radius of the Earth plus the height above the surface. So if we express things that way, and you can rearrange for the altitude above the surface, you can take that number that you just calculated, the distance between the center to the position of the satellite, subtract off the radius of the Earth, and that should give you a value for the height above the Earth. And in this case, for a geosynchronous satellite, you end up with 3.58 times 10 to the seventh meters, or 22,260 miles. And that's how you handle a geosynchronous orbit problem.